what are the nephrotoxic medication that we need to avoid in acute and chronic kidney failure patients. The mnemonic for that is these very bad medications are not safe in acute and chronic kidney failure patients. So the initial letters of these words will cover different medication that we will be studying in this mnemonic. So these stands for tetracycline, but except for the doxycycline and minocycline that can be given in the patient with kidney failure patient, whether acute or chronic. So because these are antibiotics, these lead to the renal injury. Same as vancomycin from very vancomycin can also lead to the renal injury. So better to avoid it in kidney failure patient or dose it renally according to the GFR. Bad for beta lactam antibiotics because they are again antibiotics, they lead to the renal injury. Medication methotrexate. Methotrexate can also lead to renal injury and we need to avoid it in acute and chronic kidney failure patients. But the angiotensin receptor blocker from R and ACE inhibitors, because they decrease the renal blood flow, they lead to the pre-renal type of renal injury. Same as NSAIDs from NOT. NSAIDs can also lead to decrease renal blood flow and lead to the pre-renal renal injury, but nitrofurantine is an antibiotic and lead to the renal injury. Uh, safe for sulfonamide. Sulfonamide is the only antibiotic that lead to the post-renal renal failure. Same as indinavir and acyclovir. So sulfonamides, indinavir and acyclovir all three of them lead to the post renal renal failure and for aminoglycoside is again an antibiotic and amphotericin uh, IV is an antifungal both lead to the renal injury and should be avoided in renal failure patients. Chronix stands for chemotherapeutic agents specifically cisplatin, cyclosporine and tacrolimus. Um, mostly they lead to the renal injury so should be avoided in renal failure patients. Kidney for potassium sparing diuretics. All the diuretics lead to the decreased blood volume and renal blood flow lead to the pre-renal renal failure. So same as like fluor, uh, frusamide. Frusamide is again a diuretic, so lead to the pre-renal type of renal injury. But the fluorquinolone is an antibiotic and lead to the renal failure, renal injury. Patient stands for penicillamine and fenformin. So, uh, to revise again, which antibiotic or which medication we need to well, like cause the renal injury and which medication lead to the pre-renal and post-renal injuries. So, these and most of the antibiotics, except for sulfonamide, lead to the renal injuries like tetracycline, vancomycin, beta-lactam antibiotics, aminoglycosides, uh, fenformin, fluoroquinolones, and amphotericin. These antifungal and antibiotic lead to the renal injury. What are the drugs that lead to the pre-renal injury, whether they decrease the blood volume or they decrease the renal blood supply like ARBs and AC inhibitors along with NSAIDs decrease the renal blood flow and potassium sparing diuretics and furosemide which is a loop diuretic, they decrease the intravascular volume leading to the pre-renal renal failure and the three like they are together drugs that lead to the uh, post renal failure are sulfonamides, indinavir, and acyclovir.